If you were able to walk into the Monty L. Bean Life Museum on BYU campus today, it would probably look a little different than you remember. Exhibits have been taken down, displays wrapped and pushed aside, and boxes laying around. The museum closed down to the public on July 1st for construction. The building will be receiving a facelift, if you will, and an expansion of about 30,000 feet. This expansion has been many years in the making. Ten years ago, we started uh, looking at the possibility of raising funds to expand. And as of last April in 2011, we were told that the, the Brethren had approved planning for the expansion of the museum. Over the course of 30 plus years, the museum has grown to house nine separate research collections, 3.5 million specimen, and has an insured value of $46 million. We've always been very grateful for a beautiful building and beautiful facilities, but we've simply outgrown the facilities in terms of both the exhibits and the education, as well as the research collection. The east wall of the museum, where a great display of ecosystems was once displayed, are being dismantled. The expansion will take place along the east side of the museum and will mirror all three current floors of the building. Up here on the third floor that was open to the public will be under restricted access only, but not to worry. The Donald G. Cox exhibit you see here will be on full display in the new expansion. One of the things we want to do is that we want to allow those research collections to expand so the third floor of the existing building will, will become a strict uh, secured area for what we call the dry collections, the insects, the plants and the mammals will be housed up there and they'll expand into the mezzanine space. One of the special collections that will be housed in the new expansion is a special exhibit for President Packer. One of the features of the expansion will be a uh, President Boyd K. Packer gallery where we'll, we'll exhibit some of his artwork, including several of his bird carvings, which will come to the museum. With new administrative offices being put in, many new displays, and even a children's room, there seems to be a lot of changes. But with all the changes, there will still be many things the same. The big butterfly made of small, little butterflies, uh, that's going to stay there. That, that's one of the hallmarks. People love that big butterfly made of butterflies. So that will stay in place, but we're going to refurbish the insect area with some new exhibits and, and some new thinking we have there. They will also be keeping their educational programs with the live animal shows and have even outreached their programs to local libraries, such as American Fork, Pleasant Grove, Springville, Mapleton, and Orem, to keep their relationships with their patrons strong. I was just in Springville Library last night, um, and they had a sign up saying, Bean Museum, uh, program today and the person we were visiting with said that they had 200 school children that had come to the library uh, to see the the live animal show from the Bean Museum. While many different things keep bringing people back to the Bean Museum, there is one thing that has seemed to stick, tradition. It's become a tradition, you know, after 34 years we have children that visited in elementary school that are now bringing their children back uh, to visit the museum. So I think there's a tradition that, that's uh, developed over the years. Kikalatu, BYU Weekly.